Oh, Bayona doesn't want me to leave. This is the second time I've tried to motor out of here and uh, after about nearly an hour the warning light on the engine and turned it off and so I'm boat sailing in now by itself and uh, I'm just getting the anchor chain here ready. So uh, that's it. We'll uh, have to have a look at the uh, thermostat and things like that I think. That's uh, Ila sees over there. Just passing outside Ila Ons, and uh, that's where I come from down there. See Ila sees right in the background, and uh, it's about four to five, I think, four to four to five. And uh, I'll just give you an idea what it's like over the hood. This is the reality of it now, uh, about four, six I reckon. It's pretty horrible anyway. And uh, we're just trying to go up towards Capo Corbedo. And it's hard. We're just tacking up the coast very, very slowly. Heading north from this there, you can see what it's like out there, it's terrible and uh, the spray coming over and I'm, I, I'll try and get it out in the cockpit and show you but uh, it's really bad, but it's quite a, a strong wind. again from Korea there. Uh, I'm in uh, Camarini, yes, and uh, I had a 11 hour trip yesterday up from Sardiniero, which is only 27 miles but a lot further when I, if you include all the tacking. And uh, I'm just anchored off a headland here on the higher up the rear and uh, this German yacht over there gave me the idea and it's quite good. It's, you wouldn't want to pump the dinghy up and uh, try and go ashore, but the shore is fairly close. But uh, you wouldn't want to get. You might be able to uh, row against it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do it. I'm at the marina at Camarinias, and uh, it's looking good to set off tomorrow. And um, I'm just about stocking things up, and uh, there's a nice swan next to me there. And, uh, I'll just pan it round, and you can have a look. Right, from Cameroon, yes, it's uh, as the crow flies in, it was a bit of the corner of Spain to go around first. Um, Baltimore is uh, 500 miles away at uh, 3 degrees, and um, St Mary's on the Scillies is 423 miles at uh, 19 degrees. Newlin, 444 four, four, four miles, 022. And um, Ushant, if I got push that way is uh, it's only 360 miles and uh, 30 degrees so I'll just show you on the chart um, this is Camarines yes, here this is just the right the northwest corner of Spain um, I would have said Cabo uh, Torriana yeah, uh, Anna is um, really the, the 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 Cape. It's not finished there in a way. This is the Northwest Cape there, um, and there's only um, Cabo Velano then just round um, Camarines, and um, that's it. You know, you can just head off as north as you can do it, and um, see where you end up. But um, there's some favourable winds tomorrow, and uh, it'll get more favourable because there's a low passing 
south of Ireland more or less and uh, it'll just bring, bring some westerlies and southwesterlies. Motoring out of Ria Camarinas and there's another boat going out at the same time and uh, this is the uh, route you've got to follow, uh, heading coming into here. There's a lot of rocks on either side. Capo Villano and um, that's the most impressive cape of them all up this coast and uh, there's a reef with an occasional breaking sea there. La oh, I just forgot the name of it, Las Cabontes or something like that. There's somebody out fishing there. I just, uh, oh yeah, the, can you see the breaking sea there now, a very shallow patch. And that's my uh, route coming in, I, I was zigzagging, tacking up there to get the right angle to pass that reef, the one I just mentioned, uh, Las Cabrantas and uh, Cabo Valano up there. And uh, just motoring slowly up past that reef there now and I'll shape up a bit more north. the last view of Spain here and uh, this is what you'd see if you're sailing down from northern waters and uh, something to look forward to if you're sailing down here the cloud over the, the mountains Morning of the second day and what a difference. I was in uh, the cockpit yesterday reading a book and uh, just a t-shirt and today it's all oil skins and it's uh, it's alright at least the wind's in the right direction and, and the hill can grumble at that. It's 1800, uh, it's day two and um, I've just been able to receive the shipping forecast at Radio 4 from um, Britain and uh, that's some kind of a good news but the bad news is that there's uh, gales further north and I knew that there was a low coming through and um, this is where the boat is there now with the scale of this I mean that boat is more or less 70 miles across so you know the, the bad weather is further north but um, it's saying Biscay is uh, five to six I mean I've got uh, northwesterly at the moment and it's backing back to the southwest and uh, five to seven but perhaps eight so it doesn't seem so good and uh, gale warning for Seoul further north um, we'll see how things go and I hope the whole thing's passed by, by the time I've got to further north anyway and this is day three of the trip across Biscay and it's uh, force five with a westerly swell from the Atlantic and uh, it just started to get a little spray coming in so any more and the oil skin's going again and uh, not even halfway across so uh, North Biscay there's uh, still sixes to eight in the forecast this South Biscay was four to five or certainly five now but uh, I hope that's dropped by the time I get up in that area See two ships. Now that one really is close. This is the 628 which the weather forecast has given for North Fitzroy and North Biscay and uh, I'm getting it now, it's, uh, it's pretty manageable, I've got a storm jib size uh, head sail rolled down and uh, it was doing alright really, we're heading generally north to uh, 30 degrees and it's, it's okay, it's good and it's forecast to decrease later to uh, 5 to 6 which will be nice. Day 4, 
more of the same. It's a bit less now. I've increased the size of the jib a little bit. But uh, still rough. 170 miles from the Sillies. That darker shade down there is the uh, deep ocean where it's four and a half kilometres deep and uh, there is where the boat is just crossing over now there is only about 120 to 150 metres and uh, on the chart here is, it's just a kind of a fairly narrow ridge here and then it sort of steps up to those shallow areas and um, I'm just within the next hour, so I, I can safely say I'm on the continental shelf, and uh, that is uh, another milestone in the trip. And uh, the old Garmin, it says 47 degrees, and uh, I started in the Algarve at 37, so that's 10 degrees of latitude, which is uh, 600 miles in, you know, as, uh, as they go 60 um, miles to a degree. And um, where I come from, it's uh, 53, so there's another th uh, three degree, uh, six degrees, which is 360 miles, and um, that's it. I don't know where if I'm going to stop in the Sillies. It's uh, very tempting to do so. Uh, that's where that pointer is there, and uh, there is 147 miles to go to there. Um, this high pressure developing in um, Fitzroy and uh, that should give uh, westerly winds further up and uh, but they're quite light now it's it's amazing to think it's the same day as it was uh, this morning when it was still the remnants of a kind of a gale conditions not one for selfies really but uh, you might as well have a look at me and uh, this is it's sun hat weather but unfortunately there's no wind and it's just kind of a rolly swell here, it sort of rolls up past here and it tips the sail and it back winds the sail and I don't know what I'm doing, half a knot or something like that and uh, there's 80 miles to Scilly and there's talk of a low um, coming from up towards Shannon so whether, how that will affect here, southwesterlies I think, four, four to fives and so that's welcome again and uh, we'll see how far we can go then. Uh, this is a Silly's landfall, that's uh, Bishop Rock, a lighthouse over there, major sea, I haven't zoomed it, and uh, the Western Rocks, and uh, you wouldn't want to get uh, wrecked there on a dark night, lots a lot of sailors have over the years, and I'm heading for St Mary's, I don't know, let me just try and reach over the hood here, St Mary's, between St Mary's and St Agnes, uh, and it's just about under that, the, the boom there. Coming through the sound between St Agnes and St Mary's here and there's a tide running out and uh, it's a spring of course and you get quite uh, used to not having tides when you're down in Spain and Portugal down there, there's not much in here to speak of. Um, it's, I'm progressing slowly against it and I'm determined to sail down. I'm at St Mary's Harbour and it's uh, wind's blowing in here a bit but it's a nice place anyway it's been a long time since I've been here um, I'm on the uh, harbour moorings and uh, I'm just going to pop ashore now and um, have a walk around stretch the legs after a few days of not been walking around anywhere